been in America for almost two years, and finally I feel like the things is getting better for me. I recently reacted to 90 Day Fiance where Larissa from Brazil underwent multiple cosmetic surgeries. And it was so popular that I thought, let's react to part two. Yesterday, after the, the surgery, I thought things would cool down, but last night, they ended up getting way more hectic than I thought. I had to ice her face from, I don't know, five o'clock to midnight. I had to get her up and walk her. It just kept going on and on and on of things to do. So, I mean, overall, I got maybe two, three hours of sleep. Uh, yeah, this is what happens when somebody has had major cosmetic surgery and they go home, they need help that night. They can have issues with sleeping, they can have issues with nausea, with vomiting, they can have issues with pain. And so it's so important to have somebody who's gonna help you through this that is not the time to be alone. I feel like I'm training to be a father. I feel like she is the kid that I have to take care of. Dude, you literally spent one night taking care of her. And if you're going to marry her, like, it's literally one night. She's not a child. She just had a surgery. Stop complaining. Just sack up and take care of your fiance. You know, it, it, it's cool that she got the new boobs and the nose and the new look, things like that. but. I'm not, I'm not, right now, after everything that we've gone through from start of the surgery to now, I haven't even thought about sex. Why is he even bringing up sex? She just had a major cosmetic surgery a day ago. When my patients ask me, how long after surgery do I have to wait before I have sex? I usually tell them about three weeks. And he's now saying that it's been a day and he hasn't thought about it? Here we go. Doing good, baby. Sorry. Okay. You're okay. You're doing great. Even though some of his comments seem a bit off, I will try to give him the benefit of a doubt that, I mean, he's taken care of her and stuff, and hopefully they're just taking these comments uh, as a way to create drama for the show and for people to get a bit of a rise out of it. Today, Larissa and I are going back to the surgeon's office to do her 24-hour checkup. Okay, let's get to work. Yeah, just, just relax. Oh my God, where is her seatbelt? Ugh! If she gets in a car crash and her seatbelt causes bruising or damage to her implants, that can be fixed electively. But if she gets in a car crash and her seatbelt is behind her and her head hits the dashboard and she gets a closed head injury, there's no plastic surgeon that can help that. Good morning, you guys. All right, so you look actually pretty good for having had three and a half hours worth of surgery. Okay, not too bruised, good. Yeah. There's a lot of pain. Where's your pain? Yeah. Yeah, the breast, I, I remember I told you that the breast would hurt more. So her plastic surgeon, who's a real board certified plastic surgeon, is right in this situation. She actually does, as scary as you may think she looks, for being one day out of a big breast surgery and her nose surgery especially, she actually looks pretty good. A lot of people after a big rhinoplasty, they get black eyes, they're real swollen, and they look terrible. The reason the breasts hurt a lot is because, uh, you know, the implants are under the muscle, okay, and they're big, okay. So if we'd gone for smaller implants, they would hurt less, but these are really big and you can see they're really big. More truth bombs from her plastic surgeon. The bigger the implant that you choose, if you have breast augmentation, the more the muscle that it's underneath is gonna be stretched and the more it's gonna hurt. I have some patients where they pick relatively small implants and the day after surgery, they feel great. They have almost no pain. On the flip side, I can do the exact same operation on a patient who picks a much larger implant and the day after surgery, they're still quite uncomfortable. So size does matter in recovery with breast implants. These look really good. I mean, yes, you've got to love them. Okay, they're round, high, sexy, very even, and... Uh... Okay, I know that he's a well-respected plastic surgeon, but I hate, hate, hate when plastic surgeons use the term sexy when they're describing their patient's body parts. To me, it just, it just creeps me out. Ugh. 
very good cleavage and you know and they realize about the size of, of quarters instead of you know kind of the big silver dollars that you, you sort of had so one of larissa's concerns going into plastic surgery was that her areolas which are the colored circle around the nipple her areolae, technically the plural is areolae, not areolas, um, but her areolae were too wide. And so part of the surgery is to cut them smaller. The issue with that operation though, is you trade it for a scar, a circular scar that goes all around the areola. And that scar is permanent, it never disappears, and there's always a risk that that scar can even thicken. Yesterday, I realized, okay, I took a bigger bite than I can eat, but I'm still gonna finish my plate. You know, whatever it takes to get her back to where she was is what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna stop in the middle of the freaking danger zone when there are bullets flying and just quit. I'm gonna keep running. Well, I hope so, because it's only been a day, but you know what? Hopefully he's talking this way to dramatize it for the show, but good for him. He's sticking with her, he's taking care of her, he's doing the right thing. Okay. After this procedure and everything that I've gone through yesterday, watching her go in, and then my emotions that started, you know, formulating, and then the outcome and getting her home and the stress level of everything, it made me realize like, man, this is, like, we really care about each other. Okay, of course. I know she cares about me enough to have me take care of her. And I care enough about her to want to take care of her. So it tells me that like, dude, this is a big bond, you know? And it is not easy to take care of somebody after having plastic surgery. He's just at the beginning of this. It can take a few days for patients after this much surgery to really feel like they can do everything for themselves. Uh, but I'm glad that he has been dedicated to her and that he's taking good care of her so far. Did you know that you can look upwards of five years younger in just two minutes a day? You don't need to put a ton of products on your skin to look and feel amazing. The Yoon Beauty 2 Minutes 5 Years Younger Skincare Bundle is perfect for the busy person who wants glowing skin with the least amount of work. I put these four products together just for you. They're made with natural and organic ingredients, great for all skin types, and perfect for all genders. Check out the Yoon Beauty 2 Minutes 5 Years Younger Skincare Bundle at yoonbeauty.com and get over $30 off the individual product price. I guarantee you'll love these products or your money back. It's been two months since the surgery. It's been a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work, but it has been worth it to make sure that she is better. I would most definitely say that Larissa's surgery was a turning point in our relationship because I think she appreciates me a lot more now seeing that I can take care of her in a situation that we were in. And I think that we're both closer now. It's funny because plastic surgery can do one of two things for a couple. It can, like in Eric and Larissa's case, bring two people closer together because they have this bond of this shared event, kind of a big event that they went through together. And I'm really happy that that's worked that way for them. But on the flip side, sometimes it does the opposite. And I have seen plastic surgery bring couples apart. I've seen uh, wives have plastic surgery, bring their husbands into the surgery with them and then I never see their husband again. Uh, at the same time, I have had the opposite happen, where husbands have plastic surgery and where does the wife go? So it's so important if you have plastic surgery to really talk through these types of things before you go under the knife. I've been in America for almost two years and finally I feel like the things is getting better for me. I feel great about my body and I really enjoy the new boobs and the new nose. Really make a big difference in my life. Yeah, big, big difference. So he did go quite big with those implants and her nose does look really good and I'm happy that she's happy. Where does she get an outfit like that though? I've... I'm completely healed from my surgeries. And today I would like to show to my friends my new face, my boobs. It's funny because she's a couple months out and her friends are finally gonna see it. 
a lot of times actually friends will come in sometimes a couple of days out and that gets me nervous a little bit sometimes. In the first few days, in the first week after surgery, usually you don't look so good. And so I try to warn them like, look, tell your friend, this is not how you're gonna look a few months from now. Did you like the attic? Of course. Do you feel like you are like a different person or do you feel like this is more who you are? I feel like it's more who I am. I'm really glad to hear her say that because plastic surgery shouldn't make you into somebody else, okay? It is not ideally something that turns you into a different person, but it helps you with your own sense of self. And I do hear that a lot of times from people who say, you know what, I, I look in the mirror and what I see is no longer myself, and they undergo plastic surgery, they come back and they say, this is who I really am. So we came to an agreement that if she does another surgery, I'm not gonna be her Sina. What is Sina? Certified nurse assistant. Oh. A lot of work. Yeah. It's good though. I like the outcome. So that's a little odd that he's not gonna then take care of her if she has more surgery, but they're engaged. So is he just gonna like hang out on the couch and hire somebody to take care of her? So are you having more sex because of the new body? Definitely. <laughs> Not enough. Well, that's kind of awkward. <laughs> but you ask an awkward question, and I guess you get an awkward answer. The first night was the absolute craziest. Yeah, I vomited blood. Yeah, she spit out blood. Oh my god. Vomiting. I think I, I earned my keep, right? Yeah. Yeah, now you can sit. Well, it was a good opportunity to make it up. But what are you done? <laughs> to her? Yeah for all I've done. Awkward again. I don't know the history here, but I'm sensing some tension. So how did Larissa look before she had plastic surgery? And how did Eric act while she was going under the knife and it was taking much longer than they thought it would? I'll tell you, he didn't act like some people do. Well, take a peek at this video right up here where I react to the last episode of 90 Day Fiance. We go over all of that and a lot more. It's right up here. And remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and always consider actual plastic surgery as a last resort.